Hi everyone, Gunter Steenkamp here, former international rugby player and current scrum coach. I'm all about helping front row rugby players and coaches all over the world increase and improve their performance in the scrum. Got a few questions for you. Are you sick and tired of being dominated in the scrum? Would you like to improve your performance in the scrum? Yes or no? In this video, I'll be sharing a few tips on how you can improve your scrum conditioning. Scrum conditioning is very important for front row rugby players. Want to take your scrummaging to the next level? It's simple. All you got to do is keep on watching this video. Please like this video if you think all front row rugby players and coaches should be watching it. And leave a comment below and let me know what you're currently experiencing. What are you going through? What are you struggling with? And I'll reply to you. I know a lot of front row rugby players and coaches want to increase their performance in the scrum and are always eager to learn. That's why I'll advise you to check the links in the description, the scrum review and the scrum dominator webinar. You will get access to loads of information. There was a time at the end of my career where I really struggled in the scrum. The laws of the scrum have changed and I took way too much time to adapt. I quickly realized that I needed to change my mindset, that I needed to train and prepare differently. I needed a new approach to the scrum. I paid the price in my international career because I did not adapt quick enough. And that is why towards the end of my career, I started working with various specialists, functional pattern specialists and SNC coaches to have a better understanding of how we can be stronger in the scrum, engage our whole body and increase our efficiency in the scrum. I've invested a lot of time and money to develop various techniques and I've done a lot of research. Today you can benefit from my knowledge and my experience. We are too focused on scrum technique. Scrum technique is very important. It's the foundation of scrum domination. But what most players lack is scrum conditioning. Having the ability to sustain performance in the scrum, repeat efforts, conserve that energy and outscrum the opponents. In order to do that, you need a high level of scrum conditioning. If you don't have good scrum conditioning, all the technique in the world will not help you. You will not be able to apply your skill set. It serves no purpose being dominant for one scrum. You need to make sure that your scrum conditioning is right up there. In this video today, I would like to share a few tips on how you can improve your scrum conditioning. Tip number one, improve your mobility. Body height is crucial in the scrum. If you can be at a lower height than your position, you can out scrum them. If you can generate power at that height, the optimal height, you'll have an advantage. We often hear coaches telling players, you need to be low in the scrum. But how? Some of you are really struggling. You're either dipping with your shoulders or sitting back and you're not in that power position. If you're in that optimal height in the scrum, you can generate so much more power. But if you are too high, you won't be able to be efficient. So why mobility? I know what you guys are thinking. I need to be stronger. All right. You need to be able to push heavy weights. Yes, that is important too. But mobility allows you to drop your body height. That allows you to be at a lower level than your opponents. That's why it's such an important area to focus on. Front row rugby players need good ankle mobility, knee mobility, and hip mobility. You need to focus on these areas. Because if you don't, you will always be higher than your opposition. So how can you increase your mobility? There are various training methods out there. But I prefer Zoo. Why do I prefer Zoo? Zoo is high intensity training, low impact. It's body weight training. You can do it at your home. You can do it every single day. You can do it in the morning when you wake up. You can do it as movement prep before your weight sessions and your training sessions. And you can do it as recovery. Front row rugby players that have integrated Zoo into their training regime, they have increased their strength and their power, their endurance, their conditioning, their mobility. And they've got so much more range of motion. Range of motion is what we need in the scrum. Being able to generate power through movement. 
Zoo will also allow you to reduce the risk of injuries. We know how often props get injured, lower back injuries, and a lot of us have knee injuries. I know a lot of you don't always have access to equipment. That's why Zoo is so great. No equipment is needed. You can do it anytime, anywhere. Tip number two, dynamic core strength. In the world of rugby, we focus a lot on isometric holes. That's very important for the scrum, having the ability to resist different forces, being able to keep pressure often engaged, that's very important. But what we lack a lot is dynamic core strength. What is dynamic core strength? It's the ability to keep your core engaged with movement. That's not always easy. That's something you need to work on. A lot of players, a lot of teams are strong on the setup. But after they engage, when they need to move forward, when they need to push in the scrum, that's when they lose it. That's when their upper body and their lower body completely disconnects. They lose all power because they don't have dynamic core strength. Every prop should have this. Every team should have this if you want to dominate in the scrum. Over the last few years, I've been sharing loads of drills and exercises on dynamic core strength on my Instagram page. You can check it out, GG Steenkamp, or you can check my Facebook page as well. There are loads of cool videos. So take your time and check it out. So now you're probably asking me, how can I work on dynamic core strength? What do I do? Or what do I need? I believe in the anchor harness. I've been using it for the last three years. It's an unbelievable tool. It's a must-have for front row rugby players. The harness allows me to work with rugby players time under tension, simulating the conditions of the scrum, simulating that fatigue, resistance work, forcing players to engage their core, right? Tighten up their glutes, engaging the whole body. And really activating those deep abdominal muscles. Using the anchor harness, I do scrum crawls. All right. Dynamic movement, but still engaging your core. And I superset that with isometric holds, bind work, and so many other drills. When I work with players using the anchor harness, they say, like, coach, this is crazy. This is next level. I'm so tired. And by doing this, working on dynamic core strength, I have seen our players' power have increased over the last few years. They are just capable of out scrummaging the opponents because they keep the right posture. They keep the right shape. In order to do that, you need dynamic core strength. We don't want you, when you're moving forward, to lose your shape, to lose your posture. And that's why you should never, ever underestimate the value of dynamic core core strength. If you don't have access to anchor harness, that's okay. You can use an elastic. You can simulate it. You can still do the scrum crawls. You can do the bind work using elastics. But the most important thing is make sure that you are working on your dynamic core strength, not just isometric work, dynamic core strength with movement, keeping your core engaged, generating power, harnessing power. That's what we need. <laughs> Tip number three, functional strength. If you're currently doing bicep curls, shame on you. Rugby players don't do bicep curls. We don't do that. We don't need that. That's for the beach. That's if you want big arms. But rugby players, we need to be strong through movement. You need to be doing functional training, functional movement, functional strength. You need to learn how to generate power through movement. That's why mobility is key. Range of motion. If you have poor mobility, you can't be strong. How many of you can do a full squat? A squat is one of the core exercises for a front row rugby player. If you're doing a quarter squat, that serves no purpose. I prefer a rugby player doing a full squat with 120 kgs instead of 200 kilos at a quarter squat or half squat. Functional strength. You need to learn to move with power, intent, with purpose. You need to be strong. And you can't do that with bodybuilding exercises. Tricep dips, all that nonsense, all right? Be smart. Functional training. Like I've mentioned before, at the end of my career, 
I went on this journey. I invested a lot of time of money working with specialists in functional training, functional patterns, getting to understand how I can use my whole body to generate power and be more efficient on the field. I know what you're thinking. So coach, what exercises must I do? Guys, these are basic exercises I believe front row players should do. Full squats, bench press, deadlifts, all right? Powerlifting exercise like cleans. I had poor mobility, so I couldn't always do it. Overhead squats. Bent over row, kettlebell snatches, kettlebell swings. There's so many of them. There are crazy amount of exercises. I love slam balls, right? Slam balls generating power. Dead ball over the shoulder, getting stuck into it, 60 kgs, driving with those hips to get that ball over the shoulder. Functional strength. Functional strength is what you need. The ability to generate power through movement. If you're not sure what to do, if you're currently at a club, whether it's amateur or professional, ask your SNC coach, what training methods could you do to increase functional strength? If you don't know, or your SNC coach doesn't know, send me a message, Instagram or Facebook, send me a DM, or just leave a comment below. Say, coach, I need help. I don't know what to do. What exercises should I be doing? Functional strength, it's going to help you to increase your scrum performance. If you're a front row rugby player or a coach that want to discover some of the training methods which I use, just check the link in the description and you can get access to my Zoo Strength and Power replay sessions. It's a free replay session. There's also the Zoo Strength 30 Day Challenge for those who want to lose weight. And I've also especially got a nice drill for front row rugby players on how you can unlock power in those hips. So check the links in the description below i know a lot of you are asking me probably right now can you please go a bit more into depth into mobility and into dynamic core strength functional strength in the future guys i'll be doing so many more videos so if you want to have access to that content please make sure that you subscribe by clicking on that bell so you'll be notified every single time when i post a new video and generally i'll be posting my videos on Sunday evenings or Monday evenings. I will communicate that on my social media pages like Instagram and Facebook. So let's just recap this video on what I shared. I shared three tips with you on how you can improve your scrum conditioning. Tip number one, you need to improve your mobility. Tip number two, you need to improve dynamic core strength. You need to focus on it. Tip number three, you need to increase your functional strength. Generating power through movement. I shared loads of valuable information with you. So now the question is, what are you going to do with it? We all want to dominate in the scrum. We all want to smash our opponents. But you need to start working. You need to put in the hard yards and you will be rewarded. You just got to work hard. It requires discipline and dedication. The big question you need to ask yourself is, do you want to be known as that prop that is only one great scrum a game? Or is the prop that is constantly smashing his opponents on a regular basis, sustaining performance in the scrum? Is that who you want to be? So put in the work, guys. Work hard. Get on the grind. Each player is different. For some of you, it will take longer to increase your performance in the scrum or to improve your scrum conditioning but you have to start somewhere you just need to get going don't wait too long guys you're gonna lose too much time i really enjoyed sharing my passion and my experience with you guys if you are really serious about improving your scrum performance or your scrum conditioning as i've mentioned before in the description below i've shared amazing tools on how you can improve your mobility, unlock hip power, and there's loads of other great content. So just check the link below to get access to all those amazing tools. If you really enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with your friends. Leave a comment and let me know what you thought about it. I will reply as quickly as possible. Please leave a comment if there's anything in specific you would like me to talk about. To all the front row rugby players and coaches out there, you need to remember this. If you're willing to work hard, put in the hard yards, you will achieve your goals. You can strive towards those dreams. Dreams can become a reality. 
And forget about all those people that are negative around you, constantly pushing you down. Believe in yourself. Believe that you can do it. It's a process. Each play is different, but you can get it. Guys, I'm Coach G. Thanks for taking this time to listening to me. I wish you guys all of the best. Stay safe, stay strong, and keep on scrumming. Boom!